What's up YouTube, it's your girl Dee Dee. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So I am back with another reaction video. Now this is a snippet of a, a mother who was arrested after leaving her kids ages two, three, and five home alone at night for hours as she went to work. This woman in this clip is talking about it. So I definitely want you to chime in. What's your thoughts on this? Let's go ahead and get into the video. Here we go. This is the third baby I've seen crawling in the middle of the street at three or some ridiculous time of night. And I don't think y'all get it. The economy is just that bad. This lady left all of her pinnidum at the house. What are they like two, three and five? to go to work it's not like she left them to go to the club she should have never left them but let me just say that all right however i, I feel like i feel like y'all don't get it like the people who are locking them out the people who are in the comment section condemning this lady she should have left them with this person she left them with that person i can't say anything because sometimes the village is tired but what i can say is whoever the child's father is they should have definitely been helping her with these kids when I logged in here today, the first thing that I saw was this lady on here complaining that she couldn't get food stamps because she makes more than 4,000 or something a month. And basically they won't give her food stamps because of that. But at the same time, all her money is going to, you know, just bills. And she has a, an eight year old daughter and she just bought her some clothes and she already outgrew the clothes she just got her. So I'm gonna stop her right there. Now I will say this, you know, I do have empathy for children. I have children. I do feel for the kids in this situation. And this is something that I think even people who have kids and decide to be not saying this woman decided to be a single mother by herself. I don't know her story in this case, but I think this is something that a lot of young people need to focus on before you get out in these streets and you're outside all the time and not thinking about the responsibility and how, how you have to be responsible for these young children, for these human beings. And so I, I get, you know, that it's sad these kids were out there and it's unfortunate that she had to leave her kids two, three, and five home alone while she went to work. That's unfortunate, but she has three kids close in age, two, three, and five. Where is the accountability when these women are making these babies? And yes, I'm thinking too, where are the father? Cause I'm pretty sure it's probably more than one father. So why aren't the women who are making these decisions thinking about their actions when they're doing it, if you have one child, you got a five-year-old, that's already a lot in itself, especially if you don't have the fathers in these children's lives. If you're going out here and just having a good time and getting pregnant and you don't have the resources to, to make sure that your kids are being taken care of, what would possess you to go and have two more? See, this is the part I don't understand. One child by yourself is enough and then you're going to have two more and now you know you got to get up and take care of yourself and take care of the kids to the point you don't have any resources for, for daycare or babysitters. That's something you should be writing down. If you're gonna have a list, have a list of those things to take into account that these are the things you're gonna have to be responsible for as an adult raising children on your own. And if you have children and you can't watch them and they end up all on the streets, now what if something had happened to those babies? she would still be responsible. And there's no excuse for that. It's not anybody else's fault or everybody else supposed to come to the rescue. People have their own lives and their own families to be concerned about. You have to take accountability, you know? So let's continue. It's crazy. It's crazy. Y'all are punishing people instead of helping them. This lady's not out here begging you for nothing. She's not asking you for, for a handout. She's trying to get it out the mud. And things are rough out here. And I just feel like a lot of y'all just be talking out your ass. Well, I don't think people are talking out of their ass. I think people have to be responsible for their own things. If times are hard, they're hard for everybody. People have different levels of struggle. You know, it might be hard for somebody else too. They got to go to work too and pay their bills too. Ain't nobody coming to help them and help them get it out the mud and help them with their responsibility. Ain't nobody coming to help them with their kids and pay their bills and help their kids with clothes and food. They got to do that themselves. So it's difficult to try to help somebody else when you, you got responsibilities on your own. This is what I think people don't understand. It's not somebody else's responsibility to come and take care of you and your kids because you can't 
can't afford to do it. That's your responsibility. That's what you are supposed to figure out. And if you can't take care of your children, why are you constantly having them? She went to jail because they found her kids outside by themselves near a construction site. Anything could have happened to them, them kids. Thank God nothing happened to them. This should be a lesson to young people out here to understand. Listen, there's nothing wrong with wanting a family. I applaud women who want families, but you got to go about it the right way. You got to make sure that you're in a stable relationship, build a stable household. Stop thinking that you can go out here and just screw around and make babies and raise them by yourselves. Cause these are the consequences you might be faced with. You can have a family, but make sure it's stable where you have a, a husband and y'all are working together so that you don't have to have to worry about being able to pay a babysitter to watch your kids while you guys go to work. You know what I'm saying? These are the things I don't think people think about. They think when you say, oh, a man, they're like, oh, that's the least of my words. A man, I don't need a man, but you're making babies and raising them by yourself because you're making babies with men who don't want to be fathers and men who you're not even in a relationship with. So this is why the men aren't stepping up because they don't feel like they want to be with you. Just like you felt like going out and opening your legs to a man and making a baby. Well, he was irresponsible too. He didn't, he don't feel like he want to be with you. He don't feel like that child is a part of him. He don't want to be responsible either the burden is on the both of you he was irresponsible and she was irresponsible both of you are responsible but whoever ends up with the children you're more responsible because you have all the burden of taking care of these kids and anything happened to them it's gonna fall on you just like this whole situation it's not taking the responsibility away from him but if you're not, if you didn't require him to be there, you're not trying to find ways to get him there or help you with the kids. What can anybody else do? Because the burden is on you to, tr to make sure that this person pays child support. At least if he don't want to be in, if he doesn't want to be a part of the child's life, make sure you get child support out of him. But a lot of these women aren't even getting that because they don't know where to find the dude. You don't know his social security number. You don't know shit about him. You just know you had a good time that night and you got pregnant and now you got babies and all of the burden is on you. And if this is not an indication of, of how a lot of women are moving entirely the wrong way, this should be an example of what not to do. There's nothing wrong with having children, but you need to make sure with the stable man that, that is your man and that is your husband preferably, and that you are raising this, these children together. And that way you don't have to struggle to do it all by yourself. You don't have to be in a position to have to, to, to try to figure out how you're going to get somebody to watch your kids while you go to work. If you want to work, you'll be able to go to work to work because you won't have to try to decide whether your kids are going to eat or whether you're going to pay for a babysitter. No, you, you work together. That way you have more resources for these things that you may need when raising kids. It's just something to think about. Think of the overall picture. And if you don't think that you can be responsible for a child at all, then don't have any children. Don't have them because they are a major responsibility. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what it is. Hit that bell to be notified when I go live or post new content. Definitely chime in in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts on this one. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.